All right, now for one of my favorite segments here on Sonoran Living Live, Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium. And today, I have education specialist Christy Morcom here with some baby otters. And I'll tell you, when I knew you were coming in with baby otters, I thought, I, I was thinking of the big otters and just sort of wet and... But look at these guys. Right? They're oh. so cute. They're very small right now. They're only about eight weeks old. And even full grown, they're only going to be about 10 pounds. They're the smallest otters in the world. They're Asian small clawed otters. Okay, that one's grumpy, right? Right there with the mouth? <laughs> yeah, th that's grumpy. <laughs> okay. It is so funny. You could sort of see his frown, and he sort of sits in the bag, and he hiss. Do they hiss, or what, is, what sound do they, they make? They don't hiss. They make a little grunting sound. Are they'll they the grunt and they'll chirp when they're calling <laughs> oh, they <come> to me. <laughs> back and forth to each other. Why do they, they chirp, you said? They do. Uh, they might start to chirp while we're holding them. They love to be together. Okay. So when they realize that they're not, they'll chirp back and forth. Okay. All right. So you've probably just told me this already, but I was just too captivated by how cute they are. Where do we find these guys again? They're in Southeast Asia. Okay. You find them on the shores. They love the water. They're excellent swimmers. But ironically, these guys cannot swim. They're not born uh, knowing how to swim. Their mother actually has to teach them. So obviously they're not born in the water or right. too close to the water because right. they would drown, yep. They're right? born on land. And right now these guys are in swimming Jeez. lessons. <laughs> they're squirmy. <laughs> they are squirmy. Yeah, they're squirmy right now. Let's, um, let me go ahead and I'm going to go up to this close camera right here and sh show you his little paws or do they, or feet because mm -hmm. they're like okay. they're partially webbed is his <laughs> web feet right there in the back maybe i'll switch you otters this guy is pretty yeah calm. why did i get the squirmy one <laughs> yeah they're the only otters in the world to have partially these, webbed feet so they catch feeties? their prey with their paws instead of their mouth like other otters and they get the name asian small clawed okay. because their claws don't extend past their fingertips so they have an excellent sense of touch and coordination when they're out there hunting for food oh okay and they eat Fish? Mm -hmm. Fish. They eat just about anything. Okay. <laughs> but mainly fish. Fish well, and shrimp. my mind's starting just to, to make some little noises. Right. Yep. Starting so to So how squeak. are they right now being away from, from their mom? How long do they stay? Can you hear them? <laughs> They're good. Their mother's actually used to the, uh, her babies being pulled. Chris here will actually pull you them every them? morning <laughs> and weigh them, and make sure that they're healthy. So they're used to it. And what, how long are you guys going to have? Oh, that one's drooling. Yeah, yeah, they do drool a little they bit drool. like babies. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we're actually building a brand new otter exhibit right now. It's going to be in our fourth aquarium building that's going to be opening up in spring. And it's going to be an indoor outdoor otter exhibit with an underwater viewing area. Oh, awesome. Yes. I, I wish you'd let everyone hold them because that's, oh, here we go. Right. <laughs> okay, what are their names? Okay, we have Captain America, we have Ivy, and we have Flash. Okay, which one am I holding right now? Chris, do you know? She, oh. Okay, you're holding yeah, Captain if you America. Could tell their, if you could tell them apart, I would be really impressed because they look exactly alike. They actually have special little haircuts, so Chris can tell them apart. Let's see. Wait, do you give them special haircuts? Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding okay, right now? Yeah, so, nope. Um, just little areas on them. I don't know where Flashes is. Okay, okay so do they mind being out of, out of the water, or at what point... Are nope. they going to spend most of their time in the water? Um, they like to spend time on water <laughs> and on land. Um, here in a few weeks, they'll spend more and more time in the water. And then Come here. Um, in about a month or two, they'll spend most of their time where they're playing. But they like to spend time on land as well. Okay, I think this very is more active fun right, right here. <laughs> Want to put that one down here too? Yeah, yeah they love to be with each other. <laughs> this, this is like a little game. Right. Yeah, we had them running around earlier so they'd be nice and worn out for this segment, but they're full of energy. And it might be hard for you guys to tell out there, but they are so soft, like just not what I expected. <laughs> they're very soft. They're very stinky, though. They're related to ferrets and skunks. Well, I wasn't going to say they were stinky because they were looking so cute, but they do right. smell a tiny bit. Yes, they do. But they're cute enough where it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we should change their names to Grumpy, Squeaky, and I don't know. I have and Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy. Definitely. <laughs> um, one more quick question: How many babies does Mommy have at one time? Like is um, three. Anywhere sort of normal? from. Uh, <laughs> well, there's actually two others at the zoo, but they can have up to seven pups okay. at a time. Oh, aren't they cute? <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So people thank can you for come out and us. take a look at them. Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium is located at Loop 303 in Northern in Litchfield Park. And the number is 623-935-9453 or wildlifeworld.com. Oh, my gosh. Will they, can they survive in my pool? I want one.